MLB The Show's coverage of Major League Baseball is on the air. Should be a good one here this afternoon between the New York Yankees and the Minnesota Twins. Twins baseball comes your way next. Jake Odorizzi, a right-hander from Illinois, will be the starter here. Dan Plezak, what do you got? Hey, Matt, this guy's been throwing the ball really well. He picked up his 10th win of the year in his last one, and he'd like nothing more than to make it two good ones in a row and pick up his win number 11 today. So here's the veteran, Brett Gardner, and we are ready for some daytime baseball. Off with the, Yankees, the center fielder, number 11, Brett Gardner. He's ready. Here's the first offering. And he'll take strike one on the fastball, registering at 93 that time. Fellas, these twins, as they take the field this afternoon, they've got to be considered the hottest team in baseball right now as they come in winners of nine of their last ten ball games. Yeah, Matty, taking a look at the standings right here, this team has a nice lead, comfortable. You always want to find yourself in a position where you're about five to nine games, got the advantage. You don't... One series isn't going to totally kill you in the standings, and this team, this team's sitting pretty right now. And he goes up the ladder on him, but he lays off one and two. All in all, a great afternoon for baseball. 73 degrees here at first pitch. Protecting with two strikes, went out of the zone that time, but he stays alive. The one two fouled off. Here's another one two. Another one sent foul. Again, a one two. And a good pitch there as this is swung on and missed for the first out of the ball game. This is a pitch I think we'll see a lot from him in this game. The cutter darting in on the hitters in the opposite batter's box. It can be a real effective pitch when it's located well, and that one was right there. And that'll bring up Aaron Judge. Hit hard to the right. Foul. He's got that average up over 340 now. 21 homers and 55 driven in. Aye. Slow curveball. 75 on the radar. Oh, it's 0 and 2. Right. So let's take a peek at the umpiring crew in this one. Behind the plate is Matthew Ross. Well, Dero, you better be ready to swing. With Matt Ross behind the dish, big zone. Yeah, you know coming into this one, you better pull the trigger. If something's close, Matt Ross is going to punch your ticket. Throw to first. Yeah. We'll take care of him. Score it two to three on the put out, and there are two gone now. That is third. Now in the box, Giancarlo Stanton. And as you take a look yeah. at the splits here, he's actually better against right-handed pitching this season. First delivery to him on the way. Now a fastball on the inside corner, and he takes a look at strike one. The wind up and the 0 1. This one's outside, quite a bit off the plate that time. And a good eye as he lays off, and the count moves to two and one now on the Yankee left fielder. Grounded to third. Throw in the dirt to first, and he can't come up with it cleanly. Batting four. Man, pairs are never welcome. 
but to make one with two outs in the first is especially painful. Now your pitcher has to make extra throws, and that could make the difference in how long he lasts in this game. Next will be the cleanup hitter, Gary Sanchez. And as you can tell easily from the splits, he's really struggled away from their home ballpark. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Line drive base hit. That is fifth. The second baseman, DJ LeMahieu. In now, DJ LeMahieu. And as you check out his righty lefty splits, no surprise that he hits better against southpaws than he does against right handers. Looking to wiggle out of this, here it is. Stanton over at second. Sanchez at first, two out in the inning. And it's quickly 0-2. And two. Here it is. One ball, two strikes. Down. And the inning goes away in unceremonious fashion on a swing and a miss at a ball way outside the strike zone. Yanks strand a pair. Yankees nothing. Twins coming to bat. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Garrett Cole the California born right hander is on the mound. What do we need to know here Danny. Hey you want to know if this guy's one of the better pitchers in the league. Well how about this batters are hitting under 200 against this guy for the year. So he's done a good job against both righties and lefties and I'm looking for him to be just as dominant in this one into the box. Luis Arias will lead things off here in the bottom the half of the baseball. first. Louis. Now here's the pitch. Oh, Ryan. The fastball here is he'll take a look at ball one, one and oh. Well, this Yankee ball club entering play this afternoon here. Despite the loss last time out, they enter this one in good shape. Winners in seven of their last ten. Yeah, Maddie, this team finds itself with a huge lead, double digits right now, and climbing, playing ball, really good break. baseball. Some people will say, oh, you don't want to have that big a lead. You start resting on your laurels. I, I, I look at it the other way, man. You've earned the right ball to kind of get some guys off their feet if the manager wants it. There's a lot of different ways you can go about it. This team's focused and playing really good baseball. I would not worry about it. Keep pushing the throttle. Ball even at two and two. Lifted in the air to center. Gardner is there. He's got it one away. Batting second. The center fielder. By red. Buck dead. Here's Byron Buxton now to show you what he did in May versus what he's done so far at the plate in June. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Hey. Try to bunt for a base hit here as he gets this one down. And the off balance throw beats him at first, and that's a tough play. That is third. Not shortstop. Jorge Polanco. 
So bases are empty here with two gone. And that'll bring in Jorge Polanco to hit next. Outfield shaded toward right center. Here's the first pitch. Nope. And that's high for a ball, 1-0. 1-0. Nope, Cole gets the sign and delivers. You know, from an offensive standpoint, they already knew they had their work cut out for him against a great pitcher. But if he's going to locate like that, this is going to be a tough day. He pulls this one into right. Judge is there, and he'll make the catch to retire the side. Down go the Twins in order. And this is still a nothing-nothing ballgame. Now at the plate, Torres. And there's a look at his home and road splits so far this year. Torres. And the pitch. No balls in one strike. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. A swinging strike, and now it's 0-2. Low with a fastball here in the dirt even. It's ball one. On 0-2, you'll sometimes get a guy to chase a fastball out of the zone away or up, but when it's way down like that, it's much easier to lay off because you can tell the ball is moving further away from eye level as it comes in. So he racks up the swinging strikeout on the breaking ball. Torres is retired to kick off the inning. Here's Miguel Andujar now. So he'll take a look at ball one. Comes in with an average of 265. Eight home runs and 29 driven in. The windup and the 1 0 pitch. Hey. Ground ball foul down the left side. The one two. I got the count. Two and two. Three balls, two strikes. To be honest with you, I'm a little bit more afraid of the guy on deck than the guy that's up right now. If I'm on the mound, I want this guy up right now. He's the guy that's got to beat me. High and deep down the left field line. And no one can get there. It's a foul ball. Another payoff pitch. Breaking ball, and he gets him to chase it in the dirt. And he makes the throw to first, and Duhar is retired, two down now. Next for New York, Luke Voigt. Previous meetings with Jake Odorizzi, he's 0 for 5. Infield in the overshift here, now the pitch. No score here as we play inning number two. Here's a fastball at the knees. Good spot, good pitch, and it's 0-2. He's had to be sitting out over that outer half of the plate. For him to take those first two pitches right there, finds himself 0-2, I'll be surprised if the pitcher doesn't go right back to that spot. To 1-2 and two now.
and he'll lay off the curveball that's in the dirt that time, and it's back to even now at two and two. Pretty good breaking ball to lay off of right there. If I'm pitching, I might think this guy might be sitting on something off speed. The two two. He is swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. One, two, three, go the Bombers. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Standing in, Nelson Cruz. He comes in with a six-game hitting streak to his credit, so he'll look to keep that rolling in this one. Nelson Cruz. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. And this one's nowhere close as that bounces to the plate for ball one. Cruz, or the boomstick, as he's appropriately nicknamed. His contract is set to expire at the end of this season, so he may end up hitting the market this winter. I know you have to have teammates on base to drive runs in, but this guy has had a knack all year of coming through with clutch hits at the right time to put his team on top or come back in some big games. He leads the team in RBIs as he approaches the final push towards free agency. That's a pitch he'd like to have back. You're not going to see very many pitches like that from a pitcher of this quality. I'm sure he'd like to have that one back to take a swing at it. And right into the shift. And this will get through into left for a leadoff hit. You don't get too many pitches a day in the big leagues. Middle cut. That's His big. eyes lit up right there. The this pitcher's man. lucky he's not getting Jump. another ball from the umpire. Double Josh Donaldson digging in now. He went deep in the contest last night. the stretch here's the pitch well behind that fastball it's a swinging strike some guys are great low ball hitters but most guys especially guys with pop like this they're hunting for the ball belt high and above so that was a nicely spotted fastball down in the zone in front of the changeup and he can't keep it fair two strikes on him now Donaldson commonly known as the bringer of rain around the game this is the first year of his new four year contract a pause and the 0-2. Now a ball grounded to short. This could be two. LeMayhew for one. To Voight in time for the double play. Batting fit. The left fielder. Boy, Eddie. that's a great play there at short. He's forced to go to the backhand and then pivot on that right leg to throw against the momentum of his body. These guys make it look easy. That's one you could definitely launch into right field if you're not under control. So base is empty now after the double play. And standing in the outfielder, Eddie Rosario. First pitch on its way. Ball one. Looking at his career totals, Rosario comes into action carrying a slugging line above 470. Obviously a potent hitter looking to do some damage right here. 2 0 oh. to the Twins okay. left fielder. Hey. And he gets this fastball over. It's 2 and 1. Count is 2 and 1. All even now, two and two. Bases are empty here with two men out. And he misses this one inside, and that'll run things full three and two. Something has to give. Here's the payoff pitch. Swing and a miss, and that ends the inning. Nothing doing here for the Twins. We'll move to the third with no score.
back to Target Field, home of the Twins, who've proven to have one of the best pitching staffs in baseball this year. Entering the day, they rank in the upper echelon of several pitching categories, and that doesn't go unnoticed around the clubhouse. One of the position players told me, our pitching staff has a calming influence on the entire team. We know they're going to keep us in games, and flat out, they just get the job done, and that helps everyone play more relaxed and confident. It appears this group of pitchers is a real cornerstone of this ball club, guys. Okay, thank you, Heidi. Ready Kyle. now, Kyle Higashioka. He starts off the inning against a guy who struck out the side last inning. How do they get to him here? I'm not sure, Matt, that they want to stay as patient. He's been throwing a lot of strikes. They might want to start swinging a little bit earlier in the count. First pitch coming. Here it is. Hey! Fastball and he's quickly in the hole 0 and 2. I get it. He wants to see this guy's repertoire, but now he's behind in the count. Puts himself in a tough spot to hit. 1 and 2 to the Yankees catcher. Hey, that 0 2 fastball wasn't even close, but I'm hit right now. I'm still sitting on that heater. Trying to get him fishing there, but he won't offer in the dirt, and it's back to even at two and two. Good swing on a tough pitch, and he'll stick around to see another one. Now another two two. Swing and a miss. Five straight strikeouts now, and there's one gone. Man, he is looking flat out unhittable on the mound right it? now. That's five straight punch outs. Right. I love it. But I think he might want to get his defense involved at some point so they don't fall asleep. Here's Brett Gardner now. As he'll go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. He was a strikeout victim to open up the ball game. That's up in the zone a bit, but a called no strike. 0 and 2. Third inning, no score to this point. And he'll continue this roll he's on. Make it six strikeouts in a row. Gracious, two away. Pretty textbook breaking ball for the punch out right there. Got it to bend a lot, and by the time it got there, it had fallen completely out of the zone. Not much you can do with that pitch. Here's big Aaron Judge. As he'll ground the first pitch foul off to the right side. Judge is often heralded for his defensive capabilities patrolling the outfield. So much, in fact, it's not uncommon to hear the word elite when used in talking about his skill set. So I guess it goes without saying that his pitcher teammates always appreciate having him out there behind them. Yeah, he just seems to be in the right place at the right time. I don't know if he could see the signs from out there, but it almost seems like he gets a jump before the pitch even reaches home plate. And it's a ball and two strikes now to Aaron Judge. Hey, the fish ain't biting there on that 0-2 breaking ball, but you got to be careful because this pitcher might throw him another one. Now a fastball taken outside here as it moves it to two and two now. Strike three on a pitch in the dirt. And that ends the inning. So the Yanks go one, two, three. Home half of the third coming up. No score. Max Kepler the next to grab a bat. Took an 0 for 4 in the victory the last night. Max Kepler. Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. Swing and a miss on the slider. Nothing in one. Oh, 
And there's a fastball well off the plate inside. Two ball, one strike count to the Twins' first baseman. I don't blame him for not coming over the heart of the plate. He circled this guy on the lineup card when he got to the yard today. He's been swinging one of the hotter bats in the game. The 2 1. Pretty good pitch right there. Fastball in off the plate. One of the things you want to do as a pitcher, try to stand those hitters up. The 3 and 1 pitch. They haven't played perfectly as it's hit on the ground. And there's one down now. Batting it. So one gone now as you get a look there at where the Yankees stand currently in the American League East. So the big bat of Miguel Sano digs in next and he'll be looking to change his fortunes in this one. He's seen his numbers take a bit of a dive in recent action. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Ball that's out. The 1 0 home. Popped up. And Duhar over to his left. Two gone. Batting nine. The catcher, Alex Avila. Here's the catcher, Alex Avila. And he's a guy looking to break out in a big way. Hasn't been getting the results he or his club have been hoping for. Pitch on its way to Avila. Nope. Ball one. Ball one, no strike. Now the 1 0. Is a changeup that's looked no at for a ball. Hey, you want to talk about being in a zone? This guy's been raking lately, and it all starts with his pitch selection. Two great takes, and he's almost daring the pitcher to just go ahead and challenge him. Outside, 3 and 0 now. Luis Arias would be next. Ah. And he gets the call there, 3 and 1. Looked like ball 4 there, but instead it's 3 and 2 now. He is in complete command out on the mound today. He's got all four corners locked in, and now he's raising eye levels to boot. Cole has his target. Here's the three and two. Strike three called as he can't get the bat off his shoulders. Side retired. Twins are set down one, two, three. We'll head to the fourth, still scoreless. Giancarlo Stanton now. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. This game is rolling right along as we move into the middle innings with no score. You'd think by now one of these two teams would be able to get some base runners on and get him in, but that hasn't been the case. One ball, no strikes to count. That evens it up one and one. Now the pitch. Popped him up. Donaldson waits on it and he hauls it in for the first out of the inning. Now batting 
I'm Let's sure his it. eyes lit up Here when he saw that curveball hanging in the zone. But maybe he tried to do too much with it because basically he hit it straight up. No doubt he wants that pitch back. And the pitcher, he just dodged a bullet. Striding forward now is the DH, Gary Sanchez. He reached on a single in his first try. Yeah, guys, everyone knows he's been slumping. Dan, you can certainly attest to this, only amassing a solid one hit in your entire career. But pressure's off now. Maybe he gets hot. Hey, either this hitter needs a cup of coffee or he was sitting off speed right there. Swing, high drive, left field and deep. Back goes Rosario. Gone all the way into the upper deck. It's a solo shot here for Gary Sanchez. Number 18 for him on the campaign as the Yankees will grab a one to nothing lead. Hey, that's the price you pay right there when you try and sneak a fastball past this guy. Power hitter, and every power hitter in the league knows you got to start with the numero uno, number one, man. You got to get on the heater and adjust to everything else, and he did just that. And that sends now D.J. LeMahieu into the box. DJ. As he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball now one. In his career, LeMahieu has a batting line residing in the 290s, looking to boost that even higher here. Nope. Just off the inside corner, taken for a ball. Nope. 3-0. If I'm in the box right now, I'm coming unglued. He is going to throw something over the heart of the plate. One run, two hits, and no errors for the Yankees so far. Hit the other way out toward right field. Under it is Cruz now for out number two. Up next for the Yankees, the shortstop, Labor Torres. And that'll bring up Glaber Torres. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Here's the first pitch to him. And who looks like he got the call there on the pitch inside. It's nothing in one. Outside for a ball, one and one. One run, two hits, and no errors for the Yankees so far. Hit high and deep to right center. Buxton is going to have room out there as he puts this away to retire the side. The Yankees are off and running early thanks to the solo home run. Bottom of the fourth coming up. Now 1-0 Yanks. Ready to go for the last go. half of the Four inning, and that'll bring in the second, the second baseman, baseman, Luis Arias. Luis. Oh, Ryan. First pitch on its way. And he can't get out of the way there, so the leadoff man will be aboard to open up the inning. The better well, as a leadoff man, the team looks for you to get on base Byron. any way you can. This isn't the preferred route, at least for him, but hey, they'll take it. So that'll bring in Byron Buxton. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Good slider there, and he gets ahead of him, nothing in one. Strike two with the letters. 0 and 2 now. A runner at first with no outs here. In the dirt here. 
And he'll rein it in as the count moves to one and two. From the belt, kicks and deals. Yank the slider across that time, laid off for a ball. Here now the 2-2. Is a swing and a miss. That's strike three. Well, it's still early, but it's also worth noting that he'd be in line for the win if this keeps up as we take a look at the league leaders in games won this season. And as you can see, he's right up there, fourth in the AL in that category. Digging in the switch hitter, Jorge Polanco. Hit it hard, but lined out in his first at-bat. Yeah, Matty, it's always a little frustrating when you square one up. You hit a solid line drive like he did, and all you have to show for it is a jog back to the dugout. That can get in your head for a little while. Ball one to start the at-bat. The 1-0 delivery. Runs outside, so it goes to 2-0 oh now. Now this is the kind of count this guy feeds on at the plate. You can bet he's geared to hit the fastball right here. The 2-0 oh on the way. 3-0 and oh now. Following next is Nelson Cruz. He waits on deck. No walks yet. Here's the delivery. Stealing that strike on 3-0 was important, but you don't want to miss over the heart of the plate in this situation. I got to believe he's going to be way more aggressive right here. Runners on first with one down. Inside, he misses ball four. This is only their second base runner of the game after that earlier hit. Tough to score right when you here. don't have anyone on Yelp base, there. so we'll see if they can get something Ooh. going here. So striding in, Nelson Cruz, as he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. Ready to deliver, here's the first pitch. One out. Cruz awaits the 1 0. Swing and a miss, okay. 1 and 1. Now a swing and a miss, and he's behind 1 and 2. Great pitch in that situation. If he makes contact on that one, more than likely he's hitting into a double play. The 1 2. He's in there, a called strike three. Runner on first in a double play situation, so you expect to see a lot of pitches down in the zone, so I think that pitch up right there was a good one. Obviously, the double play is more efficient, but you're always going to take a K when you're on the mound. Here's the third baseman, Josh Donaldson, as he will take strike one on the fastball here, no balls and a strike. According to the career numbers on the back of his baseball card, Donaldson hits a little over the 270 mark. Ready with the 0-1. Fouled away. A pause. And the 0-2. High in the air out to center field. Gardner is there. No trouble with this one, and the inning is over. Twin strand a pair. They're on the short end of a one to nothing score. New inning set to get underway, and Miguel set to go is the third baseman, the Miguel Andujar. Miguel. And First Andujar. pitch of the at bat. And a check swing oh, here, but he clearly went around on a pitch that would have been a strike anyway. It's nothing in one. A 
a splitter, but he started it too low as it bounces up to the plate. One one pitch is a splitter called strike two. The one two is swung on and missed strike three. That's ten strikeouts for him now, and I'll tell you, he could rack up quite Not a bad. few more before the he's done. Three. Still a lot mm -hmm. of game left in this one. Boy. So now to the plate, Luke Voigt. Nope. A ball That's and no ball. strikes. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. And he misses low with it, 2-0. Two, oh. two balls, no strike. Now here's the pitch. Swing and a miss. Might have got a piece, two. actually. It's 2-1. and one. one out, nobody on. A swing and a miss there, 2-2. Two and two. Not too many guys taking the mound today with this good a split. Look at the downward action on that thing. It's falling off the table. Swung on and lifted in the air to left center. Buxton calls off the left fielder as he takes charge for the second out. Now batting, the catcher, Kyle Higashioka. At the plate, Kyle Higashioka. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Here's the first pitch to him. Chopped to third. Throw in time, and the side is retired. Nothing across here this half of the inning. Home half of the fifth coming up. The Yankees lead this one one to nothing. Welcome back for the bottom of the fifth. Here's Heidi Watney. Thanks, Matt. In between innings, I was able to catch up with the manager of the Twins to discuss his thoughts on Minnesota's lineup so far. And he told me the quality of their swings needs to improve as the game moves forward. He said it's been pretty apparent that they're just not finding a lot of hard contact today. There have been a lot of outs on softly hit balls. And while most of the credit for that goes to the opposing pitching, he said it's important for them to continue to make adjustments at the plate. It's games like these where they have to get back to the basics and find Robert a way to generate some offense. The left fielder. Okay, thank you, Eddie. Heidi. Stepping into the box, Rose Eddie Mario. Rosario. They'll start things out here in the home fifth, and it's been tough sledding for this lineup through the first half of the game. Yeah, they haven't had any momentum going to the plate so far in this one, Matt. They need something to break their way and wake them up a bit. Be nice to get these fans involved at some point as well. A little quick on that swing, and he finds himself behind 0-2. Trying to send him packing for the second time. Fastball swung on and missed for the first out. So still nothing against him on the scoreboard here in the fifth as Up we check out the Minnesota. league leaderboard for the team first ERA. And Back. you can see that this staff currently leads the AL in that category. Riding in once again, Max Kepler. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. He's ready. Here's the first offering. That's a ball. The 1 0. Inside, ball one. Bases are empty, one man out. Yeah. And he'll lay the fastball in here to get the count back to two and one. The problem for the batter now is he's gotten so inside conscious after those first two pitches, anything on the outer half of the plate's going to look a foot outside. Three and one to him now.
Hitters count all the way. Here it comes. On a line, that's a base hit in the left field. Now this will rattle up against the wall. And he is in at second base with a one-out double. Finally, a little now something that. for them to but get excited the about. Yeah, a rally can yeah. begin with the single swing of the bat. Oh. This might be their chance right here. They've struggled to produce a lot of runs, but there he is at second base. A shot to the outfield scores him. Then who knows what kind of roll they can get on. Got to take it one good at bat at a time. First offering on its way. Miguel Sano is in for his second plate appearance as he looks at a ball. It's 1 0. From the belt, kicks and deals. And he misses again, 2 0. There's the fastball that gets the lower part of the zone called for a strike. Both teams with just two hits apiece thus far. And it's fouled away. The 2 2. Hold the string on him. Strike three swinging. He makes the throw to first. Two down. Good now pitch batting. there. And that was Get a nice it. job by his battery right. mate. To complete the play oh, first long. after the ball hit the dirt. So two are gone in the Twins' half of the fifth. And the next to bat will be the left handed hitting catcher, Alex Avila. Trying to hold the lead. Here's the delivery. Runner in scoring position at second with two down. Hey. Rising fastball, and it catches the zone for a strike. Hard hit to first. And a backhanded reach at first, but he can't flag it down. And the runner at third will put the brakes on here as they didn't want to chance it even with two outs. No Boy, Number after that two. base knock right Second there, Debo, he extends his hitting Louis. streak to seven games. Yeah, and oh. you can tell oh, he's yeah. made some necessary adjustments at the plate. Anytime you're getting a knock every day of the week, you're doing things right. He's keeping that front shoulder tucked, staying oh. inside the ball, not trying to do too much. Luis Arias is in now as he watches a pitch for ball one. Runners on first and third, two away. This is hit the other way out toward left field. Stanton has a read on it. He's got it to end the inning as they'll strand the tying run in scoring position. Twins strand a pair. They trail this one one to nothing. Digging in, Brett Gardner. He'll start things out now in the top the half of the sixth. Number 11, Brett Gardner. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Now some action out in the Minnesota pen as it looks like both a lefty and a right-hander are up to throw. And here's a curveball in the dirt that time for a ball. One and one. We've seen this before, fastballs in, then breaking balls away. That's been his plan of attack throughout the first half of this game. The 1-1. One, one. He pulls this one into right. And that's a base hit, so the pressure's on to open up the inning. Hey, they say in this game you better have a short memory. Well, that's obviously the case with this batter. He came into that third at bat after getting his ticket punched twice and was able to get a single. Ready for another chance? Aaron Judge. He's 0 for 2 thus far in this one. He 
becomes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. The fastball here is he'll take a look at ball one. One and oh. Swing and a liner. Foul. Throw over to first. Both clubs with three hits in the ball game. And again a throw, and he'll dive back in. Now a fastball gets the upper part of the zone for strike two. Open to send him packing. Pitch on its way. That ball two. Not a time to fool around right now on a 3-2 count with the middle part of the order coming up. Expect a good pitch to swing at. Nobody out, runner on first. Too close for comfort, and he did a good job just to make contact. Another full count pitch home. And he fouls this one off. Once again, a 3 2. Hit on the ground down the first baseline. But this will get foul, so they'll do it again. Three and two. Just hung in there on that one. This is indeed a battle. The 11th pitch coming up. And that misses for ball four. And it's first and second now with nobody out. Well, he's been battling all game long and been a real now, warrior. But Let's there's only it. so many pitches Don't in an arm, away. no matter how tough yeah. he is. That walk may have been all the manager needs to see because he looks like he's done to me. Digging in once again, Giancarlo Stanton. No hits to this point. From the stretch. Well, the Yankees have been searching for that big hit pretty much all game. It remains to see if they can get it, but now it sure would be a good time. Ready with the nothing in one pitch. Well, oh, that's off the plate. None out, runners at first and second. And this one runs a little too far in, ball two. A time to start making some quality pitches. He finds himself in a tough spot behind an account with guys on base. The 2-1 home. Takes this the other way to right. Cruz is there to put it away for route number one. Now batting. The designated hitter, Gary Franco. Here's the Minnesota skipper making his way out to the mound, and it would appear he's seen enough of his starter this afternoon. So he'll depart after five and a third innings of work and with no shot to win the decision. Ladies Homer Bailey takes the mound to try to get out of this mess. Now there are two on with only one away. Number 15. Homer. 
Bailey. Gary Sanchez will stride in again, and you can bet he'd love to do again what he did back in the fourth. A solo home run here that's been the only long ball of the game so far. First pitch coming, here it is. Tried to check it, and it's 0-1. The 0 1 on its way. Fouled off. Ready now. Two strike pitch on its way. Hit down the line at first. To second for one. On to first. We talk about doing the job out of the bullpen. One batter, two outs, and the inning is over. So it's no runs on a hit, no errors, and a man left. To the bottom of the sixth inning, the Yankees lead it one to nothing. Bottom of the sixth inning now, Leading and that'll bring up the speedy split. outfielder Byron Buxton. The Byron Buxton. Now the pitch. Hey. All one's the count. The wind up and the 0 1. I just couldn't pull that one back in time. It's 0 and 2 now. And a swing and a miss there on a late breaking slider as he set down on strikes for the second time this afternoon. Man, they really had his number so far in this series. That's his fifth strikeout in this series alone. Into the box, Jorge Polanco. Batting left-handed here as he takes a look at strike one. And he misses with it, one and one. One out, nobody on. Fastball, but he's able to hold off on it, and it's two and one now. That's Takes that one a little bit low. Three balls and a strike now. The three one. Finds the zone to fill the count three and two. Probably better that he let that pitch go anyway. After seeing a lively fastball in the pitch before, it's pretty hard to sit back enough on a well thrown changeup. Something has to give. Here's the payoff pitch. And this ball is crushed deep down the right field line. And that nearly would have gotten him on the board. Instead, it's a long foul ball. The next 3 2. Skied into very shallow right. LeMayhew is there. He's got it, and there are two down now. Now batting. That's exactly right what they wanted out Nelson. of that pitch up of the zone. They took him up the ladder, and he couldn't get up to it. So that was an easy pop out. Well executed pitch there. Here's Nelson Cruz now. He's singled in two trips to the plate thus far. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. And a fastball to start things out here. Not close. It's a ball and no strikes. Man, this guy's had their number all game long. Up, down, in and out. He's pitching very well. Two out, nobody on.
counts even at one and one to Nelson Cruz. Everything this guy throws is hard. That changeup he throws is in the high 80s to go along with that good heater. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. A little early and now it's even at two and two. Started to go. Did he hold up in time? Yes, says the first base umpire. It's ball three now. And he struck him out. His eighth punch out of the ball game, and that one ends the inning. Down go the Twins in order. They still trail one nothing. The second baseman DJ LeMahieu. No hits in two trips to the plate for him in the ballgame. LeMahieu. Here comes the first pitch. Hey! Swing and there it goes deep to left no chance at bringing this one back and that's a home run into the top tank a solo shot here to left home run number five on the year and this is now a two to nothing lead for the Yankees. No surprise with that swing of the bat. This guy is simply one of the best in the game right now. There's not too many guys that take a beautiful hack like that in the league. In now, Torres. The batter. The shortstop. This he'll take a look at a pitch too low. It's ball one. He's hitless in his two at bats so far. And this one's too far inside, ball two. This inning really feels like it's getting away from him out there. As a reliever, you can't let that happen. Nothing you can do about what's already happened, and it's only going to get worse if you're not focusing on the guy in the batter's box. And this is lifted high in the air down the right field line. And foul. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Buxton is right there, one down. Now batter. Third baseman, Miguel and Duhar. And that'll bring up Miguel and Duhar. He was sat down on strikes in his last at bat. Yeah, Matty, big time K last time up, and it's been a tough series for him so far. You can tell he's just not seeing the ball off this team. Let's see if he can make an adjustment right here. One ball, no strikes to count. Bases are empty, one man out. Went about halfway there, but it's a called strike regardless. Hey, love the confidence in that pitch right there, going right after one of the better hitters on this team. Not afraid to execute. Hey. Fastball called strike, one and two. High in the air, carrying well out to deep center. He gets under it and makes the catch in the deep part of the field. Now batting, the first baseman, Luke Voigt. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Luke Voigt. He comes in 0 for 2 thus far. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. 
No nope. fastball too high to start him out here. One and zero. Bases are empty here with two men out. Fouled away. From the windup, the one-one pitch. That was a tempting pitch to swing at right there. A big power guy like this really wants something that he can elevate and drive out of the ballpark. Go and he misses down. low here, so the count goes to three and one. When you're playing close games like this, base runners mean everything, so he can ill afford to start giving away free passes. Line hard toward right center. And that's in for a base hit. Make it a one for three games so far. No mistake what he was sitting on. Fastball that's middle of the plate. Kyle. Kept his hands back. Stayed through the baseball. And delivers a hard hit line drive. At the plate now, Kyle Higashioka. As he'll look at a fastball too high for ball one. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. The 1-0 pitch. Yeah. A ball and a strike. Lays off the slider that time. 2 and 1. Fastball is looked at for strike two. And it comes back with a fastball. Strike three called, and the inning is over. Ladies and gentlemen, one in the inning, and it comes from a rather unlikely power source. Get up and stretch. It's now 2 nothing, New York. For another shot now, Josh Donaldson to lead Four things off three. against Garrett Cole. The third base starting to run out of time. Jump. They haven't been able to score any Double runs third. as we're moving late into this one. A perfect time for this leadoff guy to try to get on base and ignite a rally. Outfield shaded a bit to left center. The first pitch. Ball one. In need of a quick inning here, but he starts this one with a ball. It's one and zero. Well, late in a game like this, calls that don't go your way can really throw you off when you're on the mound, but you just can't let it happen. His composure is getting a little test right here. The 1-0 home is looked at for the first strike. Time run stands on deck, but it'll only matter if the guy in the box can get on base. Yeah, and that has to be his mentality at the plate right now, Matt. He can't be the hero, so he needs to do what he can to give the guy behind him a chance to be the guy. Two and one the count. Here it comes. And a fastball, but he's losing it a bit here to three and one now. Yeah, well, down two. You better believe they gladly take a leadoff walk right here. Anything to get a base runner on and get that tie run to the plate. And it's up to a 3-2 full count now. There's a pitch we haven't seen in a while. It's going to be tough on the hitters if they have to incorporate that into their mindset. Into the corner and slicing foul. He got the fastball where he wanted and just pulled off of it. He'll try it again, 3-2. and two. Hit down the third baseline. But this will get foul, so they'll do it again, 3-2. and two. Payoff pitch one more time. Hey, this is a heck of a battle right here. Long A-B. You know what? They find themselves still facing the starter. If they would have had some A-Bs like this earlier in the game, I, I think they get into the bullpen by this time. The 3-2 one more time. On the ground towards second. And that's through for this first base hit in this one. 
Well, it took him till the seventh, but he gets his first hit of the game here, and that'll extend his hitting streak. Yeah, and he didn't come out of his. He didn't come out of what he was trying to do all day. Dan kept the front shoulder tough, kept the ice water in his veins, and didn't try and get too big. Extends the hitting streak. Nice job. You know, Dero. I talked to him before the game about the streak, and he said the toughest part is he hopes to get hits early in the game to take the pressure off. He had to wait to the seventh inning in this one to come through. Well, pitch count will become a factor here in the seventh. He's about to hit 100 for the game. Yeah, Matty V, that magic number in today's game is about 100 pitches, and this next pitch will be pitch number 100. Dero, he's been sailing along pretty... And he gets a round on one and hits it high and deep to straightaway right. Boom goes the dynamite. Two-run blast to straightaway right field. Home run number nine on the year as the Twins have rallied to tie it at two. What a great feeling right there as he circles the pillows. Finally able to get this offense potentially going with one swing of the bat. Being shut out all game, but not anymore. Stepping now in now, Max First Kepler. Back. As he will take a fastball in there at the knees for strike one. He's one for two in this one. The wind up and the 0 1. As anticipated, here's a ground ball now to the right side. On the first, so a good bounce back pitch there as he gets the ground ball for the first out. Now batting the designated hitter, Miguel Sano. Here's Miguel Sano. He went down on strikes last time up. Yeah, but it was a good change up, Matty. Good arm action on that pitch. Look for him to try and stay back a little bit more. Let the ball get a little deeper. Don't be shocked if this pitcher tries to rush a heater right here. One and oh, the count. Here it comes. Two balls. Well, he's thrown a lot of pitches in this one, but it's not like he's walking a bunch of guys. Only one free pass to this point, but they're still making him work really hard. The 2-0. And he turns this one around high and deep to center field. Gardner going back at the track, but he has no chance to make the play. It's off the wall. And he will make it in safely. It's a triple, and the go-ahead run is at third with only one away. Now batting. Anytime Kepler. the ball is hit that Allen. hard to deep center, you know oh, it's going to be a tough play. The center fielder gives chase, but it ends up coming off the wall, and by that time, you knew it was going to be a triple. comes the Yankee manager now up out of the dugout on his way to the mound and it appears that we've seen the last here in this one of Garrett Cole so we will leave in a tie ball game but he is responsible for the runner at third so the best he can hope for is a no decision your attention please so now with a left handed hitter waiting they'll go to their own left hander out of the bullpen Zach Richard. To the plate now, Alex Avila, as he'll get caught chasing a bad one there at strike one. Well, this is a strikeout situation, but it's also a ground ball situation. I expect we'll see a lot of pitches down in the zone trying to prevent the hitter from getting the ball up in the air. Pitch on its way to Avila. Slider is in there and now it's one and two.
around the stretch. And he lays off the pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. And a swing and a miss. He struck him out. And a big out there as the go-ahead run stays at third with two gone now. Really good late Double bite on that Double slider two. right there. Second the best base, ones man. have that late action Louis. that just darts at the last minute. Oh, oh, They're yeah. so tough to get the bat on. And when you've got that good slider going, it's a great strikeout pitch. So now to the plate, Luis Arias. As the first pitch to him is taken low and away for ball one. Ready with the 1 0. That's a classic piece of pitching right there. You have to back hitters away from the plate to make them a little bit uncomfortable. Now you can go inside or outside. I like that purpose pitch. The set and the 2 0. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Gardner is there. He hauls it in, and the potential go-ahead run will not come around to score. The two-run score for the Twins, both coming on this two-run home run. We'll march on to the eighth, and we are tied 2-2. Start of the eighth on its way, but first Heidi Watney standing by with this report. Thanks, Matt. I talked with the Yankees manager Aaron Boone during the break about the team's offensive performance so far, and he told me he's pretty unhappy with their discipline at the plate in this one. He said that they're playing right into the pitcher's game plan today by expanding the strike zone way too often. Instead of swinging at pitches in the strike zone that they can do something with, they're often chasing at pitches out of the zone, which is resulting in a lot of their outs. Going forward, they have to start being more selective, guys. Leading off of the okay, game. thank you, Heidi. So the batting order turns over now and set to go Brett, Brett Gardner. Gardner. And this tie ball game is a battle of the bullpens now, and I'm sure you're enjoying that, Dan. Bullpens are such a big part of baseball now, Matt. All these teams have such good seventh, eighth, and ninth inning guys. It all boils down to whose bullpen is better. Here comes the first pitch. Good fastball oh, there from Bailey as he takes charge, nothing and one. I think it's about time to choke up on that bat and get that foot down. He's awfully tardy oh, right oh, now. Right. Behind 0-2 now. Inside oh, as that perhaps will back him off a bit. 1-2. and two. This is skied into the air to straightaway center. Buxton is there and he has it for the first out. Now batting, right fielder, Aaron Judge. Now to the plate, Aaron Judge. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. First offering on its way. Hey. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. 1, one. one and 1. That one looked like it could easily have gone the other way. There's a big difference between 0 and 2 and 1 and 1, but now this next pitch probably becomes the biggest of the at bat. Now here's the pitch. Pulled high in the air out to left field. Rosario is in his tracks now as he makes the catch for out number two. Now batter, the left fielder. Giancarlo Stanton. And digging into the batter's box next will be Giancarlo Stanton. First pitch coming. Here it is. Nope. Breaking ball that time that misses out of the zone. Good spot to be in right now as a hitter. Count your favor 1-0. Good time to get a fastball and turn it loose. Two balls and no strikes. The count is Stanton. Talk about certain guys in a lineup that you want to be really careful with. This guy right here is one of those, and you can tell he's pitching awfully cautiously. 
Two out, nobody on. And here's a fastball for a strike. Two and one now. Uh, could have been three and one. Instead, it's two and two. Counts even at two. The pitch. Waved at and missed for the third out. Not much of a chance at hitting that one, and the inning is over. One, two, three, go the Bombers. Score remains two to two. Your ben Heller please. will come on in relief now, here and appear in game number team. 25 on the year number so 61. far. Ben Heller. So coming to the plate, Byron Buxton. He was sat down on strikes in his last at bat. Yeah, and he didn't put up Byron. much of a fight either, Matt. He got to find a way. Can't go down three pitches. I don't care if you're staring at him or swinging at him. You have to find a way to make this pitcher work a little bit harder. Owen oh, won the count. Here's the pitch. Now a late bunt attempt here, but he misses strike two. Just a touch outside, one and two. Now here's the pitch. Slow little roller to third. Throw to first is in time for the first down. Up next for Minnesota. Not shortstop. Jorge Polanco. So striding forward now, Jorge Polanco. Fourth trip to the plate for him, and he's at risk of ending that nice hitting streak that he's put together. Yeah, chances are it's on his mind, Matt, but you just have to let that get out of the way as best you can. You have to approach this at bat just like any other. Otherwise, you're just getting in your own way. First offering on its way. And some action out in the Yankee bullpen now as a right-hander starts to loosen up. The 0-1 on its way. One ball, one strike. One out, nobody on. A ball and two strikes to the Twins shortstop. Checked his swing there, and did he go? No, he did not, says the third base umpire. Ball two. Here now the 2-2. Two -two. And right into the shift. But a foul ball as it holds it 2-2. Two and two. And now a pitch on the way. And a fastball swung on and missed as he just reared back there. Two away. That was a big strike out there, guys. The best now pitchers back. have the ability to the strike right guys out when they Delta. really need to. And that second Ooh. out was really important at this point of the game. Could be something we look back on later when the game's over. And that'll bring up the big stick of Nelson Cruz. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. He's got a hit in three at-bats to this point. Here's a shot to left field and deep. Look at this. Boom goes the dynamite. A solo shot here to left as they've taken a one run lead. It's a big time bomb right there. It's about time now for the closer to get ready and slam the door on this one.
the third baseman. Standing in now, Josh Donaldson. Josh. Yes, he'll take a look at ball one. He's working on a one for three thus far. The 1 0 home. That ball, too. Looks like this guy's afraid to throw the ball in the strike zone. Gave up that home run earlier in the inning. Needs to get back to being aggressive. 3 oh, and 0 oh now. Well, those were a couple of close pitches right there in the inner part of the zone. Hitters will tell you, pitches in that location are tough to do anything with. And no doubt about this one, it's in there, 3 and 1. Bases are empty here with two men out. There's ball four. And don't forget, he gave up a long ball earlier in this inning, so you can understand why he wasn't too aggressive with him there. When he got him to three and one, he wasn't too anxious to challenge him. Ready to take his hacks again, Eddie Rosario. As he'll look to follow up the two-run homer he launched over the wall last time up. And hey, it was a breaking ball to boot. This guy's a pretty good off-speed hitter. You could tell by that last at bat he wasn't fooled at all. He sat back, waited, got the breaking ball, and didn't miss it. No balls and a strike to count. Ready with the nothing in one pitch. Nope. I got a ball, one strike. Slapped hard the opposite way. But well, this is right to him in left as he hardly has to move as he handles it for the final out. But not before the Twins get one, and it comes on this solo home run. Last chance coming up here for the Bombers. It's now 3 2 Minnesota. Taylor Rogers comes on from the pen, hoping to finish this one off here in the top of the ninth. Number 55, Taylor Rogers. Set to start the ninth in this one. And the next to bat, the Dominican born catcher, Gary Sanchez. Tough situation. Down one here on the road, trying to score off one of the game's top closers. They've got their work cut out for them. Ninth inning underway now as the first pitch is taken for a cold strike. A great job pounding the zone strike one. When you got a great hitter in the box, got to get ahead. Count leverage is a must. Pitch on the way. Nope. And low, it's a ball and a strike. A ball and two strikes One now. And the sinking fastball called strike three, and that's out number one. Well, we've seen some really good pitching from these guys in this one. The bullpen has looked sharp, and it backed up a nice effort turned in by the starter. These days, pitching has become a full staff effort, and I've been impressed with the job these guys have done so far. In now, D.J. LeMayhew. As he'll take a look at a slider that can't make it back to the corner, it's ball one. He rounded the bases on a home run back in the seventh. Into his windup. Here comes the 1 0. One run game here in the top of the ninth. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Tried to crush that ball and now perhaps needs to shorten up with two strikes. Into the windup, here comes the 2 2 pitch. And good patience to hold back on the curveball in the dirt. It's full now, 3 and 2. Rounded softly down the line toward first. But this will get foul, so they'll do it again, 3 and 2. And he lays off ball four. So now the potential tying run here is aboard late in the game. 
the batter. The good stuff. Time Lever. called here as with the potential Cole. tying run aboard, Your they'll make the lead. move to get a little more He's speed out there. For the game. Number four. Digging in, Torres. Tyler. They'll be looking for something he could drive into the gap and drive home that tying run from first. From the belt, kicks and deals. Strike called, now the throw down. He's in there easily as the throw bounces on the way down. Number 14, Tyler Wade. Now the 0 1. That's over, but low. It's a ball and a strike. One out, one on, and a one run game. Breaking pitch, and this bounces in front of the catcher. Now the 2 1 pitch. Swing and a miss, and they'll dodge a major bullet that time. Two away. That was a nasty-looking slider that time. The bat. Yeah, that was really the well bullet. executed, Matt. A classic yeah. strikeout pitch. That you think it's ball. fastball middle in, then it starts bearing in on your back leg, and unless you hit it out front, there's nothing much you can do with that. Into the box, Miguel Andujar. Pushed to the right side. And he'll put this one away, and with that, the ball game is over. Hey, we were really treated to a good one today. Bottom of the eighth proved to be the difference, though, and a good job here in the ninth to close the book on this one. A one-run game this afternoon, 3-2 to two the final finish. The Twins came through late, taking the lead in the eighth to secure the victory. Homer Bailey wins in relief for the eighth time this year. Taylor Rogers records the save, his 26th. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskers, and you've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com.